Howdy. Uh, I've relocated temporarily from the sunroom to my closet because it's cold in the sunroom this time of year. So, new studio. So today, what are we talking about? Um, how about three arpeggio type things that go really well together that you can fit together and sort of chain together uh, to make some neato melodic lines. So let's start with our first arpeggio and it's going to be C major seven. F major seven. So we're starting on the eighth fret. And um, this is my favorite arpeggio of all time because it's symmetrical and I love the symmetrically shaped stuff. So we're gonna go eight, 12 on the A string. And then we're gonna hit 10 on the uh, D string. Nine on the G, 10 on the B, and then eight and 12 on our high E string. Yeah, and you can cycle that up and down. Um, what I like to do is, you know, the, the picking on that is basically a down with a hammer. And then you're gonna do three downs, well, four downs in a row. Uh, and then at the end of this, you have your little hammer pull thing to let us, give us time to turn around. And then it's kind of all upstrokes coming back. All right. Um, and another cool thing you can do with that is at the top, you can cycle those last three strings over and over again. Oh my God. That's better. So to that, let's add another one here. Let's do our minor seven arpeggio uh, using those same strings and that same pattern. So if we do that on um, F again, we're going eight, 11, eight, 11, 10, eight. Okay, so if we're emphasizing the F there, it's gonna be a minor seven arpeggio. Now the weird one that I like to do, I don't know how weird this is, but uh, if we start it there, same fret eight, we're gonna go eight, 10, nine, Seven. And then a little eight at the end there. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Let's start here. And then we'll move to our, um, that one. Move down a fret for a minor seven, then move down another fret for our major seven. So if we connect a bunch of those together, it might go something like this. Um, and it sounds neat. Uh, some other directions you can go with that 
if we start with our um, major seven, like down here, and then move up a fret for our minor seven, and then move up another fret for our weird one, it uh, makes cool sounds like this. Tons of fun. Uh, here's one other little uh, lick that you can practice to kind of uh, explore this concept more. So we're going to do our major. When we get here though, we're going to chain them together like that. So major seven, we'll start down here on the third fret. kind of work them together like that. Basically, when you get to the top, you're moving this up two frets and then starting that, that uh, weird one. So, uh, good. Do I have anything else? No, that's enough. That's enough for now. Go forth, have fun, practice. I'll see you guys in the next one.